Today we're taking a look at the Expedition APX for 2021. Welcome back to Mike's Archery's YouTube and today we're taking a look at one of the new midline bows from Expedition Archery, the APX. Now this is not one of their flagship bows, but it is definitely not one of your low-end cheap package bows either. This is a brand new lineup from them and with the APX it's coming in at a mid-range price point with all the features that you need to get it done. Now the IBO speed on this bow is 340 feet per second. So right there with some of your top end bows, the axle to axle on it is 33 inches and the brace height is six and three quarters. So you got a really long high brace height there compared to a lot of things out there. So it's gonna give you a nice smooth feel, good stable platform. It's gonna be a real forgiving bow to shoot. Now the weight on this bow factory spec is coming in at four pounds. Out of the box with everything on it, it's 4.4 pounds. We pulled the limb dampeners out of it um, and we got it down to about 4.2. Now you could probably say that the rubber pieces on here are something that is adding a little bit to it, but it's coming in a little above what factory spec is. Now this bow comes in a few options, but not a lot. It is available in 60 and 70 pound max draw weights only, and it does have a module system on their hybrid cam. It is adjustable from 26 all the way out to 30 inches on that module, and you don't need a bow press. You can just take this bow uh, with a couple Allen screws, loosen those up, slide it around, and make that adjustment for your draw length. It does have limb stops on that cam, which is gonna give it a really solid back wall and, and somewhat of a high-end feel if you like that rock wall to be able to shoot off of. The let off on this cam is 75%, so you're not getting those higher let offs that you're gonna see in flagship bows, but you got plenty of let off to be comfortable and still be able to hold it full draw with only 75%. It is an aluminum riser bow, and it does have a few features on here as far as just your standard stabilizer holes and your double burger button hole so you can lock that rest into place. Now, one of the things we did notice was that angled cable rod that they put on this. It comes in really hard at, at a tight angle, and it actually cuts your fletching clearance down. What we did notice is you're gonna to have to probably rotate your fletching to shoot a cock vein out. You're not gonna be able to shoot your cock vein up or down, uh, otherwise you're not gonna get clearance past these cables. Minor detail, not something to get real excited about, but something to keep in mind when you're setting this bow up and tuning it, uh, that you wanna make sure you're getting good fletching clearance and not hitting those cables. The APX is only available in two colors, your basic real tree edge, as well as black, but that gives you a couple options there to outfit this bow any way that you would want it as far as accessories and things. The MSRP coming in on this bow is at $799. Uh, map, you're probably gonna see it at your shops at like 100 bucks less than that, which is just a nice mid price point on this bow. Now we're gonna step over and shoot this bow, kind of give you the specs and rundowns on it of how it performs there. As usual, we will be shooting it with a 400 grain arrow. However, we are shooting this bow on 60 pounds at 28 inch draw length. So you're gonna see a little lower speeds, but that'll give you an idea of a baseline of where we're headed. We've stepped over here to the lane and we're gonna be shooting the Expedition APX. We're gonna take a couple shots out of this bow. And uh, we are shooting this bow with a 400 grain arrow as normal. However, the bow that came to us is only a 60 pound model. So we're not shooting this thing on 70 pounds, it's gonna be 60 pounds. And it is at 28 inch draw length, not 29. So you're gonna see a little lower numbers than what we normally post up on one of these bows. but. Uh, Let's take a couple shots and we'll give you a, a rundown on how it feels and what kind of specs it's putting up. So speed-wise, we got 268 on, over the chrono there, which is about what we expected. You bump that up to a 70 pound and out to 29 inches, I think you'll see that somewhere in the 280s, uh, which is about what uh, the speed rating should be on this bow. From there, as far as the noise rating, the decibel reading, uh, we've got 97.5. So right there with what we're seeing with most bows, fairly quiet, nice, nice feeling bow. But um, so the, the shootability of this bow, the draw curve on this thing is coming back really smooth. And it also has those limb stops. So when you get to that full draw position, it feels rock solid on that back wall. And, and we do like that feel uh, it just allows you to stand on that thing and just get real consistent shots off that back wall. Now the after shot on this thing, when it, when it goes off, it is dead in the hand. There's really no vibration and we don't really have this thing 
you know, set up with any accessories, just got a biscuit on there for the sake of shooting it, but it's really dead in the hand, no vibration. So once you get this decked out the way you want it with some accessories and stabilizers and weighted up, it's going to sit in your hand really well and shoot very well. And for a, a mid range bow, it's going to have a great feel. So if you're looking at something from Expedition or you're looking in that mid range bow and don't want to be, you know, a thousand bucks plus on your new bow, take a look at the new APX from Expedition. I think they've got a real great bow here that'll suit you.